What's going on guys? Hope you all are doing fantastic today. So it's finally the perfect weather and it's the perfect time to talk to you about one of my favorite fragrant notes. It's an ingredient that was used way back in the day to cover up the smell of death. Hippies love wearing it. Yeah, that's right. It's patchouli and I freaking love patchouli. Patchouli is one of my favorite fragrance notes. It has such depth and personality to it. So today I want to go over 10 of my favorite patchouli fragrances that I think y'all need to try. So stay tuned if you want to know more about these pungent patchouli beasts that I speak of. Cue that intro. What's going on my beautiful fragrance family and welcome back. To my two cents. My name is Brian and this is the show all about boosting your confidence through the art of fragrance and becoming a lasting scent memory. Patchouli is a huge ingredient that is used in many fragrances. So the fragrances I'm going over today, most of them are really based around the note of patchouli. But for a few of them, it is just an ingredient that really stands out to me in the fragrance. So these aren't all just based around the note of patchouli. Most of them, not all of them. Before we get into the list, if you are new to this channel, then welcome. If you love fragrance-related content, then you're in the right spot. Hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you stay in the know every time I'm posting new content. Throw me up some of those likes, guys, because it helps my algorithm and helps the growth of this family tree. And don't forget, throw me some comments down below. Let me know what some of your favorite patchouli fragrances are and if there's any that you think I should get my nose on. So we got a lot to go over today, so let's just go ahead and get into... I believe I can fly. Uh, if you're gonna get literal with an R. Kelly song, do Trapped in a Closet. Whiffs and sniffs. Uh, too soon? Disclaimer, I do not condone anything that R. Kelly did. All right, so patchouli. Man, I freaking love patchouli. I didn't always love patchouli though. And there's certain types of patchouli nah, I just can't do. As we all know, there are quite a few people out there that enjoy wearing it in its raw form. So it's earthy, smells a little dirty, it's real pungent. But that's not the only characteristic that patchouli has. Patchouli can be fruity, it can be sweet, it can be chocolatey, it can be rich, it can be green. It can add like a thick texture to fragrances. And so I'm not a huge fan of that real raw, pungent patchouli. I am a fan of when patchouli is mixed with other ingredients to create beautiful fragrances. All right, let's get this list started. This is not going to be a rank list. This is just going to be 10 of my favorite patchoulis for now. And that list can always change. And we're going to start off with a fragrance that it's actually, patchouli is not actually the main ingredient. Leather is. And it's Tom Ford Ombre Leather, Eau de Parfum. Now we all know ombre leather to be a leather fragrance, a fruity leather fragrance, but I love the patchouli in this because it adds like an earthy green, slightly woody characteristic to the composition. Then you're also going to have this jasmine, but the way that the patchouli is done in this, what it does is it does a really good job just melding all the rest of the ingredients in the heart and the dry down and helps not only with the fragrance profile but it also helps with longevity because patchouli really helps fragrances stick to your skin it's thick it's rich and it's really well done in tom ford's ombre leather if you have been hiding under a rock and you have not got your nose on ombre leather yet i highly suggest it released in 2018 sonia constant has done the entire ombre leather line and she's done a phenomenal job. So definitely check out Ombre Leather. This next one, I really enjoy it because it's got this really nice plum note in it that correlates really well with the patchouli. It comes from Un Nui A Oman and is Ombre Kanjar. I'm not exactly sure if I'm saying that right, but I freaking love this fragrance. This isn't the longest lasting fragrance. I get a good, probably about six, seven hours out of it. But while it's on my skin, I thoroughly enjoy it. In fact, I'm going to spray a little bit right now just because I love, I love this fragrance. There's also like this really nice benzoin, I believe, in this that gives it this really nice sweetness. But the plum and patchouli in this work so well together. It gives it a nice fruity, earthy, kind of slightly dirtiness with a lot of density. And I love how dense the patchouli is in this. And it melds so well with that plum. So if you're a patchouli lover like me and you want to wear a patchouli that people never talk about, check out Ombre Kanjar. Is another patchouli fragrance that 
is never really talked about. Came out in the early 2000s and it comes from El Profumo and it is Patchouli Noir. Patchouli Noir is well obviously really based around patchouli. What sets this patchouli apart is this really nice poppy note. And that poppy isn't like the like poppies, like a poppy seed. It's more like the floral, which adds this kind of powdery, chalky sweetness. Though this fragrance is quite dry, it does have a really nice sweetness flowing through it. I get good longevity with it. I get about eight hours on my skin. This is something that I really enjoy wearing in the evenings. It's mysterious and dark and has a really nice sillage. So again, if you are a fan of patchouli and you want to set yourself apart, because this is a patchouli nobody ever talks about, El Profumo, Patchouli in the Walk. So this next one, again, is not really based around patchouli, but I do love the patchouli in it. Before I show you the fragrance, I moustache you a question. Have you ever tried Rojas Mustache Eau de Parfum? <laughs> See what I did there? This really isn't known for its patchouli, but I love the patchouli in it. It gives it this nice greenness, some sweetness, which blends very well with the rest of the ingredients. But the patchouli really stands out for me in this fragrance. But you're going to get some rose, some mandarin orange, some pink pepper, some benzoin, some vanilla. It's a fantastic fragrance, but for me, one of the star players in it is the patchouli. But this is also, if you're not a huge fan of patchouli, this is a good fragrance that has that really nice note of patchouli, but there's a lot more going on than just that patchouli. I highly suggest getting your nose on. Mustache Eau de Parfum. Next up is going to be coming from Essential Parfums, and this is Bois Imperial. I just did my video, I think last week, on Essential Parfums leave it right here for you to go check out essential parfums retail is the cheapest niche fragrance brand that you can buy 75 dollars for 100 ml now there isn't actually patchouli in this but there is akagala wood which akagala wood is actually derived from patchouli what they do is they basically extract all the cleanest parts of patchouli and create akagala wood now this the akagala wood patchouli is done phenomenal. This has such a beautiful woody characteristic throughout the entirety of the fragrance. You also get some spiciness. The Akagala wood, I cannot express to you enough how much I love the Akagala wood in this. This is a long lasting fragrance. I get eight plus hours out of it. This is definitely a must try. Definitely. Essential parfums, underrated, never talked about. Super high quality, super low price. Bois Imperial. Next up comes from another brand that people don't ever talk about, but I do. Why? Because they make phenomenal fragrances. And it comes from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and this one is Atmotic. This is a classy, woody, spicy patchouli. The patchouli that's done in this is nice and green, and it blends very well with the really nice juicy ginger and dogwood that are in this. Dogwood is not usually a wood that you see a lot in fragrances. These only come in 30 mLs and they're about, I think they're $49.95. 100% worth it in my opinion because these are long lasting, unique, because I've never smelled any fragrance out there that smells like Atmotic or any of the other artisan accoutrements that I own. This is classy and modern, sophisticated, great for office wear, great for daytime wear, but is also versatile enough to be worn any time of the day. So. If you haven't yet, do yourself a flavor. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements at Mott. Next up on my list comes from the house of Jeroboam, and it's Ligno. Now this is definitely based around the note of patchouli. This is gonna have patchouli, Indonesian patchouli, and then more patchouli. It also has pine and bergamot, clary sage and geranium, ambergris and broxen. This thing is packed full with amazing ingredients. But what it's really, really known for and what it's based around is that patchouli. This is such a sensual, seductive, rich, fruity, slightly sweet, pungent patchouli, but not overly pungent, not in a bad way. Jeroboam is known for having their signature musks and their musks in this are done so well with that patchouli. If you're a patchouli lover and you want a patchouli that lasts all stinking day, 12 plus hours, that will get you noticed just because this is also very loud, definitely check out. Next up, kind of comes from the house of Jeroboam, or Jeroboam comes from this house, and it's Javoy. Incident Diplomatique. What I love about Incident Diplomatique is that it's not just patchouli. 
it's also a lot of vetiver. And the vetiver and patchouli combo in this give it this really nice green, dense, woody, slightly dry characteristic. That blended with this really nice and well done sandalwood, then you're also going to get some nice spices. This is a fantastic fragrance, super long lasting, definitely inoffensive. It's not a patchouli that's pungent. It's not going to be so loud that it's just going to choke out everybody around you, though it does have great performance and does have an amazing, sexy scent trail. If you like patchouli, but you also like vetiver, Carl, I'm talking to you. Definitely check out Incident Diplomatique. All right, we got two left. And this next one, number two, though this isn't a ranked list, comes from Gallagher Fragrances, and it's Behold Patchouli. That's right, Behold Patchouli. This is a gourmand patchouli. You're like, what? That doesn't even make sense. How can patchouli be gourmand? Well, this is. You're going to have orange citruses up top. You're going to also have this really, really nice chocolate. And that chocolate is blended so well with frankincense and patchouli. You get a slight smokiness from frankincense, but that comes further into the heart. And then there's this really nice honeyed amber. So it's almost like sticking your nose in a honey pot. It has a lot of nice warmth and resinous qualities to the dry down. You're also going to get some dark musks kind of pushing off that patchouli as well. This is one of my favorite patchoulis because it's not just patchouli. It's a gourmand. It's such an interesting well-blended, rich, resinous patchouli. I love Gallagher fragrances. I think that they're definitely underrated. A lot of people need to talk about them more, and you definitely should be that person. So definitely check out, if you have not yet, Behold Patchouli from Gallagher Fragrances. I saved the best for last. This is my number one patchouli, and it comes from, I believe, a fragrance brand, Fragrance House, that is gonna be synonymous and is synonymous to my channel. And it's Aaron Terrence Hughes, Patchouli Noir. This is such a sexy, beautifully done patchouli. Very long lasting, very loud, very proud, and I love it for that. Patchouli Noir has this really nice fruity patchouli in it. It's dense, it's rich. It's jammy almost, like almost jammy. Then you're going to get some nice chocolate in here. But the patchouli is the main player. It's the big star. This also has a little bit of filth to it. You get that dirtiness, that earthiness. The scent trail on this is captivating. A couple sprays will last you 12 plus hours. Fantastic fragrance. Aaron Terrence Hughes has 10 mLs that you can buy. I think that they are a great way to test drive your fragrances. So if you love patchouli or you're trying to get into patchouli, I'm not necessarily going to say patchouli noir is the way to go, but it's the way to go. It's freaking awesome. So last but not least is Aaron Terrence Hughes patchouli noir. It's my favorite. Definitely. Y'all need to check it out. So guys, what do you think of patchouli? What do you think of this list that I just put together? Have you tried any of these? Let me know. Drop me a comment down below. Also, let me know of any patchoulis that I need to get my nose on. Fall and winter is the best time of the year to rock patchouli fragrances because patchouli does a really good job sticking to your skin. It's got a lot of thickness. It's dense. It's rich. It's opulent. And it leaves a really alluring scent trail most of the time. It'll help get you noticed. It's definitely a confident fragrance note and also makes amazing memories because you're not necessarily gonna smell like anybody else in the room. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. If you enjoyed today's episode, then do me a favor, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and always remember you are stinking beautiful. Until next time, happy scent trails.